Hello class, this is the video walkthrough for tutorial 3.1 on page 86. So 3.1 is about drawing using symmetry. We're going to make a I-beam, a steel I-beam, which is a great example of using symmetry uh, in SolidWorks. So we'll start by looking on page 86 of your textbook and they will they have a figure there 3.3 .3, and it shows you all the different dimensions that go into making a wide flange or an eye flange beam or wide flange eye beam I'm sorry excuse me okay so to get started on this we're going to start a new part drawing we're going to do an extrude boss base in the front plane and we are going to draw two corner rectangles and uh, we're not snapping to the origin, so don't snap to the origin. Then we're going to draw two vertical lines. And make sure when you do this, you do not snap to midpoints. Do not snap to midpoints. Do not snap to endpoints. Just snap to the line. Okay, and then we're going to put in a center line from the origin. We're going to draw it straight up. And then we are also going to draw a center line straight out to the right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to use the trim tool, which is something new that you guys haven't done before. So this is the trim entities button up here. When you go to trim entities, this window pops up and there's five different types of trims. Power trim is usually always the one that's selected. We'll go ahead and just select trim to closest. So you're going to trim your lines, and what that does is that cuts away the line until it gets to the next closest point. Next, uh, it's, it's time to start doing some uh, symmetry. So we're going to select our top line and hold shift, middle line hold shift, and the bottom line and hold shift, and symmetric. Then we're going to clear our selections by clicking over here in the white space, and we are going to add another line of symmetry to the left side, the middle, and the right side, and symmetric. Okay. Now, we're going to put in our Smart Dimension tool, and it's not going to look quite like an I-beam. And yours is probably going to look different than mine, and that's fine. So everybody's is going to look a little different. And I'm going to select that Smart Dimension I just put in. I'm going to change my Tolerance Precision to four decimal places so that I can see it says 7.995. Actually, I'm going to change it to three. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to smart dimension from the top to the bottom, and that one is actually just going to be eight. The one in the center is 0.285. Okay, and by this point, your drawing probably looks very different than mine, but it has the general, same general rectangle on the top, rectangle on the bottom, and thin rectangle in the middle. Oh, uh, also this, let's change our display to three decimal places there as well. Okay, now our next thing we're going to do is we are going to define some things, define some uh, lines. And you can see our object still moves, so anywhere where it's blue, it'll still move. What we're going to do is we are going to set this line, I'm sorry, we're going to set this line and this line, the two left lines collinear, the two right lines collinear, and we are going to add a dimension here to here that is 0.435 and we will make that a three decimal place number and smart dimension we will smart dimension, uh, I'm sorry, we will add an equal relation. So this line and this line we will make equal. Okay, and now we just have this left to define. So what we will do is we will add a We will add a symmetric relation to the left, the middle, and the right. 
symmetric. There we go. Now we are fully defined. I'm going to hit the purple arrow in the upper right hand corner. And we are going to extrude out our wide flange beam to, um, let's see, what does the book say? 12 inches. Okay. Last thing we need to do is add a fillet. And our fillet size is going to be um, 0.375. So 375 thou. Items to fillet. This edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Green check mark. All right, there we go. Cool. Now we're also going to change our material type, edit material. And we are going to select hmm, steel, and it will be the material type ASMT A36. Might be down a little. ASTM, there it is, A36. Apply, close. Okay, so now all the mass properties for that steel are now in this part. And what we're going to do is we're going to check to see what our area is here of this beam. So if we go to the front of the beam, evaluate section properties. And in section properties, we're just going to select the front face of that flange. And recalculate. And your area should match mine. It should be 9.11 inches squared. And if that is the same number as this, then you are, you are correct in your drawing. Okay, we are not doing a 2D print for this. We are only doing the 3D part. You will use this same file you just created now for problem uh, for a problem in the back of the book. So keep this file, and you'll reuse the same file uh, to edit. You'll edit it for a problem in the back of the book, and you'll make a 2D part for that one, but you won't make a 2D part for this flange itself.